this is Frank here with RC Foam Fighters and welcome to part two of my crazy twin motor build this is just going to be another quick video updating you guys on all the parts that I got for the plane um, as I mentioned in the very first video I am going to be running these T-Motor F40 Pro motors they're uh, 1950 kV motors and they're rated all the way up to 6S I'm probably just going to run them on 4S at first um, until I can get the plane dialed in and if it doesn't weigh too much, then maybe I'll bump it up to the 6S batteries, but I'll have to get some because the ones I have are way too big. Um, next to the motors, I have the ESCs that I'm going to be using. These are the Strix Rocket 65 amp uh, ESCs, they're BL Heli S ESCs, and they're rated from 3 to 6S. And they're for airplanes, they are Opto ESCs, so they don't have a BEC, so I will have to use a separate BEC on the plane. Um, I got this BEC from ready-made RC and it's a 5 amp uh, UBEC that's rated either at 5 or 6 volts regulation. Um, the props that I'm going to be trying out on the motors, I'm probably going to try these two different ones out first. Um, the ones on the right hand side here, the black ones are gen fans, or gem fans and they're uh, 51, um, 52 props. They're 5.1 inch diameter and 5.2 inches of pitch. Um, the ones next to them are the real ones that I want to run later. They're crazy props um, from ABC. I've never seen these before. They just recently started to become popular with some of the other fast planes out there. They're five inch props, but they have seven and a half inches of pitch. And both sets of these props are counter rotating. So it should hopefully eliminate any kind of torque roll from the plane with the twin motors. The batteries that I'm going to be using, I've had these for a little while. Um, these are just 4S batteries that I'm going to try out with the plane the first time out. I have a set of uh, R-Line batteries or tattoo batteries. They're 1300 milliamp. They're 95C. And then below that I have some older batteries that I've had for a little while. These are the Rev Electrics uh, Go Packs. They're uh, 70C and they're 1550 milliwatts. The last parts that I have to go over are going to be the servos that I'm putting in the plane. These are uh, Emacs 12 gram Metal Gear servos. All these parts have to go into this little teeny plane. The wingspan is just a little over 24 inches. Um, so I'm going to have a, a pretty good chore of trying to fit everything in there. So what I want to do next is I'm going to do a glide test on the plane. As you can see I've got it all taped up and I've got some nose weight on the nose. I taped a little over an ounce, probably about an ounce, ounce and a half worth of lead on there. And we're going to go into the backyard and do some glide tests to find out where the CG is. So that way I can figure out where I can put the battery. And I was planning on putting two carbon fiber spars in there, but I'm having a feeling that the battery is probably going to have to sit somewhere in the middle. And I just want to make sure that I put the spar in the right place so it's not going to be blocking the battery from where it needs to be. Um, so let's go ahead and get outside and do that glide test so we can mark it on the plane. And after that, um, I'll come back and we'll talk a little bit more. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do a glide test here just so we can find out where the CG is. Um, I tape some weight on the nose. If it glides correctly, then I'll go ahead and mark the wing where it is on the CG. So, all right, let's go ahead and give it a toss and see if we can find out where the CG is. That one was pretty good. I think that'll probably do it. So let's go ahead and uh, go back inside and mark where the wing is and where the CG is at, where I got it set right now. Let me show you on the camera. You still got the camera on, Paul? Yep. All right. So it looks like that's about where the CG is. It's probably about one third of the wing. So we'll mark it there when we get inside and uh, should be good to go. And then I can start cutting it up and uh, placing all the pieces where they need to go. Now that I've got the CG marked on the plane, the next thing I like to do is take all the parts and lay them out on the plane where I think they should go. Um, this helps me try to figure out, you know, where I can put the battery because of all the weight of the other parts on the plane should give me an idea, you know, where the battery should go. And I basically just keep moving the battery until I can pick up the plane at the point where the CG is and it's balanced. So this is where everything came out on this plane when I laid it out. Um, this is about where the battery is going to need to be. And it looks like the BEC is probably going to have to go up in front to add a little bit more nose weight in order for it to balance out. But this is part of the procedure that I go through every time I make a new build that's a scratch build that I don't have actual plans for. So from looking at this, I may have trouble trying to put two spars in because I wanted to put one 
towards the front of the wing and towards the back of the wing. So I'm not sure I might just have to put one spar in the middle. I really want to try and stiffen it up as much as I can though. So I might try and figure out another way to still be able to use more than one spar on this plane. Um, this is part of my build process and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here and I'll get back to you guys again here pretty soon on this plane once I start cutting it apart and placing all the parts in it. Uh, thanks for tuning in to RC Foam Fires and thanks for watching.